Let's start with you, sir. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, how's your performance tonight? You know what? Um, one in the first round. Um, uh, he's a tough guy. Everything he throws is really hard, and uh, you know, um, I like to stand up, stand up and bang. But uh, when the opportunity presented itself to get the takedown, I went for it, took advantage, and uh, I ended with a Jeff Munson choke. I feel great. I feel great. Yeah, I'm not even tired. I'm not even winded. I can go another five rounds if you guys want. So it's a good day. So uh, blue blazer. Uh, yes. Uh, you like it? I, I do like it. Yeah. Well, there you go. I appreciate that. Um, Give it to me. I, I can't. Okay. I'll get kicked out. There's dress code here. Um, just was there anything at all that surprised you about your opponent tonight, or were you expecting pretty much what he gave, him, gave you tonight? You know, I thought the reach was going to be a little bit of a bigger uh, problem because uh, obviously I'm not the tallest guy in the world. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm so used to training. My training camps are beasts. You know, Andrew Mendoza, uh, DC Chapman, Jaron Chapman. They're all very long guys, you know, mm -hmm. so um, it was, wasn't was as bad as I thought it was going to be. He does hit hard, though, man. I, I was like, does he hit harder than me? No, nah. <laughs> no way. My main when, man right here. <laughs> when you go out there, and I mean, you, you showed some good striking, but you also were very adept on the ground. Is there a particular area that you think the other competitors should be wary of? Um, man, that's a good question because we have the ground and then we have the stand up. So he should also be worried about my uh, my verbal acuity. I'm good. I'll pick him apart. Boom, 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 boom. Next question. <laughs> other blue blazer. It's, it's nice than it is. Have you um, have you heard anything about the usage of the Thor logo yet? Yeah. It looks like it's right. Thor logo? What the fuck? This is my name. I was Thor before Thor was Thor. <laughs> what the hell? That Chris Hemsworth? He, he needs to give me some fucking uh, kickbacks financially real quick. You know? Uh, is, is this a Thor logo or is this... Th you know what? Next fucking question, dude. You're going to be in some trouble, bro. What are you doing? Thor, is that, is that your birth name? Is yeah, Thor? my birth name is Thor. My mom's Norwegian, full-blooded Norwegian. Out there, it's not that uncommon of a name. So, you know, out here it's pretty fucking uncommon. Yeah. I get a lot of shit for it, but, you know. You can't I would, go into a regular job and name Thor. You know what you the... Gotta, you gotta be a fighter. Yeah, you gotta be a fighter. And the worst thing is, you know, you go... Anything you do, people have little jokes now ever since the Avengers became famous. Where's Captain America? Oh, how's the Hulk doing? It's like, fuck up, dude. Let me, let me go about my life. Uh, Andre the Giant. <laughs> at the um, at the weigh-ins, you made a point. You made a you made a point to tell us that. Tell me about it's not the size of the man in the fight. Can, yeah. you, can you elaborate on that? What you're talking it's, about? You know, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the man in the fight of the dog. So remember that. I got another one too. Okay. You know what I mean? You try to take these this bacon. You're gonna feel these hogs. I'm all about protecting the bacon. Uh, this guy right. What's next? Ro next. Um, that's up to, you know, I'd like Bellator to bring me back. I think this is a top flight organization, man. Coming out here, I felt like I was in a Van Halen concert or some shit, you know what I mean? So, I mean, what's next next is a beer. And then what's next after that, hopefully, hopefully they uh, they bring me back, man, you know? Um, who's the 170-pound champion? That's right, none of you guys know, right? Thor Skanky becomes 70-pound champion. Everybody's going to know about that shit, right? None of you guys can answer that question right now when I ask it. Think about that. Don't, don't even, it's too late. The time has, has passed. Thor Skanky, the name, you're not going to forget it. I'm a household name. As soon as you guys give me a couple fights in here, you know, I hope I put everybody on notice. I ain't playing, man. I ain't fucking playing. Dude, I'll flip the shit over right now. Uh, very, very nice dress guy. What, you got something? Oh, do you not take something taking questions? Oh, okay, you look great though, man. Thor, you're, you're fucking too. awesome, man. You look great. Thor, your, your last name is pronounced Skanky. 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 Thor Skanky. So, I mean, people wonder why I'm such a good fighter. Man, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? My name is Thor fucking Skanky. If you can't clown my last name, you clown my first. You know, I had to put hands on people from a very young age, man. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Tall guy. You kind of look like John Cena. Anybody tell you that? <laughs> All, <the time>. All right. <laughs> or I'd like to go back to his question, though, because that, that little proverb you gave us at the weigh-in still doesn't make sense. Been... You know what? I, you got to have a couple of drinks, man. Really sit down. <laughs> cut some, maybe cut some weight. Cut cut 11 pounds and then sit there. Be like, that should make sense. You know, it, it's just like, man, a wolf on a chain ain't nothing but a dog, right? Try to take this bacon, you're going to fill these hogs. You, it is what it is. You said he looks a little bit like John Cena. Have you ever been told you look a little bit like Mike Perry? Mike Perry. Platinum Perry? Yeah. Yeah, man, someone told me that shit. <laughs> yeah, he's, he kind of looks like me. That's that's right. Yeah. It's okay. I feel like you're doing more of a Macho Man than Savage on cosplay. Thank you. I, went yeah. <laughs> I, I was. Right? I'm glad you got that shit. Yeah. You have, that, you have a little impression that you got a Macho Man? <laughs> yeah, brother. You know, <laughs> that's, about, that's about all I'm going to give you right now. Actually, I actually have a... Ooh, yeah! My bad, you're right. There we go. Ooh, yeah! The Macho Man Randy Savage.
This might be a weird transition, but I actually have a serious question for you. Yes, sir. Uh, you're, you live near the Thousand Oaks area. Yes, sir. In the valley. Yeah. Oh, and we didn't was, even uh, get to use that jersey. Can you give me that jersey, please? There was, uh, there was a shooting last there year. There was a shooting. I know you did, some, you did some charity involved in the shooting. Yeah, I did some charity work for the uh, the, the people that passed away uh, in the shooting for their families. The border, the border rather, line at Born Line, yeah. So we did a, um, we did a, a, a mitts for... I have this, this charity, what we do is every round of mitts that me and my friends hold, you know, different trainers, uh, for every round of mitts, they donate money, like it'd be like $5 a round, you know, and people were donating all kinds of shit, but we all came together and we, we raised a bunch of money for these people right here, man, these are the guys that are not with us right now, kind of sucks that they weren't here to see this victory and this is for them, you know, goddamn shame. Did you know them personally, any of them? Um, you know, like, uh, it's a pretty tight-knit community, like, uh, a, one of them went to my gym, uh, my corner man is like, you know, pretty much family with a lot of them, so... It just sucks, man. Like the, that's just a pretty, uh, pretty heartbreaking thing, you know. But yeah, so this is for them for sure, for sure, for sure. Anyway, guys. Um, On a this, lighter note, how are you celebrating tonight? Man, I'm probably gonna get blackout drunk <coughs> and um, <laughs> fucking go home with my girlfriend and my puppies and my cats and just uh, chill out, man, and just wake up tomorrow like holy fucking shit, dude. This really happened, you know. Dream of mine, man. You know, like I've been, I've been doing this for. I know I look young, and you know, I am the future, but I'm 35. And uh, you know, when I first started this thing way back when, um, back in 2000 and fucking eight now, uh, you know, I never thought that I'd be on a in my own backyard in the forum fighting with fucking Fedor, who's like one of my heroes. Is the main event, dude. You know, and I'm here like, it's crazy, bro. I have goosebumps right now, like just talking about it. So yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do is just just try to soak this all in because I'm I'm on cloud nine right now. It's crazy. Well, your ground game the last three or four fights especially you just got nose of the sharp and sharper. Yeah. Going into this fight, was there anything you were trying to concentrate on and did that lead to your you know what it is, man. It's like I, you know, my, I drive my coach crazy, dude. He 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 knows what I'm capable of on the ground, but I always want to like get the knockout because I just have this mentality that like that's what people want to see. You know, when I first started my career, I was taking everybody down and like holding them down or trying to go for the submission and ground and pound them. And and um, you know, I've had some fights where people actually. I, I'm not going to say I neglected my ground, but it wasn't a focal point. You know, I just thought that, okay, I can go out there and use my wrestling in, in reverse to stay up, and I'm just going to land that, that magic right hand and put him to sleep. And I've, had to take, I've been taken advantage of a few times in my career by fighting that way. And um, this time I just made it a note like, yo, I can't fuck up in front of Bellator. You know what I mean? I'm going to come out, I'm going to throw hands a little bit, but when that takedown's there, I'm going to take it. And I'm, you know. I feel bad for my opponent because he was probably expecting Rock'em, Sock'em, Thor to come out. And um, I did a little bit, you know, but nah, dude, I had to win. <laughs> I had to win, man. All right. Thank you, thank, hey, you thank you. Thank you guys, man. I appreciate it. I can't believe you guys even want to hear from me, man. This is a...